and gentlemen, welcome to the Sage's Group Builder Show. This is July general update and we've got interesting stuff going on. As you already know, I'm hosting this group build along with non-prolific gens and our intention is to maintain this group build as an inclusive, family friendly and good vibrations experience. I'm going to show you the present state of the build entries and some glorious final rebuilds. But before that, let me comment on a few operative problems we have had. As you know, Matt Hill's entry had to be cancelled due to legal issues in relation to the content of his work and the laws of the hosting country. Fortunately, Matt understood our decision and he announced he's going to entry a less controversial issue. However, our problems did not end here. We had a new entry from Mr. Harry Forbisher that had to be disqualified as well. He announced the anti bald man diorama, which had no relation with photography. So, dear fellows, please, we kindly ask you to deal with your issues on your own channels. Finally, a new entry by Jack Constable dealt with female anatomy, which we love, but had to be disqualified as well, because it had nothing to do with this group build. We are sorry about this guys, Dynamic. but uh, we are sure you can understand. And now let's proceed with your qualified entries. Today we will start in alphabetical order and just wait for the final reveals of three of our guests at the end of this update. Okay, let's start with Andre Gleck. Um, he started building a Panzer 3 ounce J and as you can see he finished it. It looks awesome and this is called Panzer 3 Fever, a very common illness among our G Plus YouTube community. You will see the final reveal of the finished diorama at the end of this video. Go on! He built four half tracks from different brands for his Ukraine diorama. It's his entry number one, in fact. He did already his entry number two on the final reveal. And as you can see, he did a glorious job. There are countless details inside his vehicles, and he even developed a new homemade winter coat technique, which is cheap, easy, and with, has fabulous results. As you can see, he also built two sidecar motorcycles. And as with Andridge, uh, you can see Cohen's final reveal at the end of this bit. CW Modeling is building a Tamiya Initial Production Tiger 1. He wants to build a diorama set in North Africa. And as you can see in this picture, uh, he has been working tirelessly with infinite details to adapt the tiger to the period and setting he's portraying. His meticulous work is awe inspiring. Myself. As you can see, I've been working with the figures. You may be wondering, why are these Russian guys wearing camo patterns from different seasons? But why, above all, are they wearing German camo patterns at that? Well, it was quite common to wear captured clothing, as they would use tools and weapons from the enemy. It looks like uh, German camo patterns were quite appreciated by the Russian soldiers. So here you have them, uh, ready for the catwalk. Lord Panzer! He has done it again, and Paul's budget has rocketed again to the sky. Apart from this wonderful Stuck 4 from Tamiya, he's going to employ all these elements on an epic diorama. Let me wish you, Paul, good luck, man. Non-prolific one for the good skin, what are you doing? is building his army old cabriolet, and in a clear competition with CW modeling, he's working with a thousand tiny details to adapt the kit to the real thing. Here you can see some pictures of all the progress he's making for the boot. 
interiors, well, he's actually working any conceivable part you may imagine. He has even built a press machine for corrugated shit. And well done, gents. I'm sure you, uh, when you are done with it and you want uh, a real engine, the, the gnomes are going to steal your car, I'm sure. Scott Bain. Scott has just entered the group build and he's going to portray this photograph. He's going to use the Opel Blitz Omnibus from Robin on a figure set from Masterbox. We wish you good luck, Scott, and have fun. Simon Gang. Simon is working with a destroyed Soviet tank diorama and with a group of German soldiers and he has used different techniques to burn the vehicle and it's look looking real good. Good luck with the finished diorama and keep having fun Simon. Alright, time for the final reveals. Now you will see the finished work from Jamie, Andridge, Bill and Michael. They are true artists. Enjoy their work and watch out for Jen's update in August. Have fun guys and enjoy the summer. Bye bye.